What's up, broskies and my TSX fam? I love y'all. I just want to say that first before we get started. If you guys are new, my name is Ricardo. This is the House of Projects. We are building a TSX Milano Red 6 speed with black interior. Uh, I've been doing the headers. I just finally almost got done. Uh, we're just going to go put on this last motherfucking tire. And then today's video is going to be a little different. What we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to go put the tire on. We're going to go to a spot and I'm going to do, I know it's been done like a lot, but I'm going to do the five things I hate about the TSX and five things I love about the TSX. Goes, I hope I don't trigger no one. Like I'm a fan. I love this car. I'm not going to get rid of it. Like. I've had so many cars, and the TSX is just one of them that I cannot leave. The chassis is just fun as fuck. If you guys like this, uh, make sure to hit that like. You know, good energy, good vibes, as always. Stay up. Fuck the negativity. And uh, here we go. Uh, I got the last tire in the wood trim video. But if you guys didn't watch that, I run 255. 4017s and they're federal the 95 rsrs really good tires really grippy really meaty never had an issue with them the only thing is they are loud as fuck so when you are driving you hear hella drum only downfall but for what they are they're really good tires all right let's go to the shop real quick damn bad bitch tires Damn, guys, I haven't touched this car in a cool minute, bro. Um, it's kind of filthy right now. I'll probably go vacuum it, too. Um, yeah. All right, guys, we just got to the shop. I'm going to be putting on the tire real quick. Um, yeah. five things i hate and the five things i love was very hard to do it was actually really hard so hope you guys don't bash me so number one on things i hate i'm gonna trigger everyone right away let's just say it. it's not rear wheel drive i'm sorry but I am a rear wheel drive fan, and I wish the TSX was rear wheel drive. There's nothing wrong with it being front wheel drive. I mean, it still has a lot of potential reasons why I stick to the chassis. But number one will be that it is not rear wheel drive. This one, like I said, is gonna trigger some of y'all. I do not like the sunroof. I mean, I like the sunroof, but I really like the RSX Type S sunroof. I wish the T uh, the TSX one was like the one that comes out like that. We have the in one and we have the tilt. I love the tilt, but I wish our thing came out like that. So that's number two. You see the taggy? Fuck, I was right, bro. This shit. I was right, babe. It's auto. Damn. Hella gay. Hella gay. For three. All right. Radiator. The radiator, the radiator, the radiator, the radiator. These cars, the radiators suck ass. I changed mine. I had to change my girls. I mean, I haven't done hers, but... The radiator, they tend to leak. They tend to crack on a hot day. So the radiator sucks ass. Okay. All right, number four. I think this one's the one that's gonna make y'all all fucking mad and like explode. I hate it when we put Honda logos on our cars, but we all know they're Acura and they tell us, ain't that an Acura? Moment of silence. Gonna debadge your mind, so I thought I'd just add this. Number five. Yo. Hello. Rear 
really close one. Uh, it was between the ball joints and the rack and pinion on these cars. They are both faulty things on this chassis. I think I'm gonna still have to pick ball joints only because I've actually broke one personally and my boy before that sold me the car broke three in his possession. So that car has gone through four ball joints like of it going like Mwah. So ball joints. Fix your damn ball joints, Honda. Well, I'm pretty sure y'all did, but for our car, y'all didn't go a foot. So let's go on to like the shit I like from these cars. Here we go. By the way, guys, before we move on, just because I say I don't like this does not mean I don't like the car or like, I, you know, I don't recommend you buying one or, you know, like, it's none of that. It's just like, I wanted to test myself of things I don't like of the car and things I do like of the car. I just thought it'd be interesting to do. So, let's continue. Sheesh, them fog lights are fucking gorgeous. Really fuck with it, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, we're in the TSX now. Uh, number one of things I love about the TSX. I'm gonna say, first off, out of all of them, because I actually would put it on my top, is reliability. These cars, believe it or not, they are very reliable, man. I am a VQ owner, so on the side of these cars, I own 350s and I own 370s, and I gotta say, the K24, it could take the beating. I'm at 250K miles, and I plan to do my timing chain this year. Change, I've been on it every day. I've been surge bow tuned for about, say almost a year. No issues, no check engine light, no weird noises. I hit like, I hit like 7K RPMs, bro. Like all the time in this car. And this shit is still going. So I would highly put number one on things I like, reliability. Number two. I would have to say, um, this is my girl's car, by the way. Uh, I would have to say number two would be the body is very, very timeless. Like, this car looks better than some Civics and, like, than the 20, like, 14 Civics or, you know, like, it does, it does compare with them look-wise, you know? With a nice pair of Euro headlights or a nice bot, uh, lip kit on this car. You know, throw that Mugen wing on, the shit will look sexy. So, that would be number two. It's short and simple. So, number three is that it's four-door. <clears throat> Come closer. Uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I have a kid now, so I need a four-door. So, I mean, number three four door all right number four huh. and then for number four i have to say that it would for sure have to be that the engine the k24 is like really good recently everybody's been swapping the k engine in even into non-honda applications i've seen a 350 and s2k with a k swap so the K24 is pretty good, I'd say. Now to five. Oh, no, number five. So I'd have to say that you can put a supercharger on these cars is why I would say number five. Is I, I really like how you could put the supercharger on this one with the CT um, supercharger by Comp or I think it's Comtech, yeah. It ends up looking really cool, I'd say, in the engine bay of uh, when you have the freaking supercharger. So that's why I chose this one. I eventually do want to do it, but you know, money. But definitely soon. 
fit these right here in the background. Pop my hood. Haven't shown you guys in a while my under the hood. But yeah, eventually I want to throw the supercharger in here. And uh, that's my number five of why I like this car. K24 is a good engine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna close it out like this. And uh, yeah, until the next one. This is just a quick one. I'm uh, getting rid of the 350 parts. I've been parting them out. Because uh, we recently bought a 370. Um, so that's what's really been going on. The TSX is on hold right now, but eventually I'm gonna be doing the rest of the stuff, like the Brembo's and stuff. Uh, the 70s right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.